Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Where are we going to find yourself in this weird, wild, wacky world we're in? This is another scene for Unmask Orlando. This evening's scene brings us to the Tremere Chantry, where our dear Arjun has been spending a pretty decent chunk of his time Mostly yeah. there to see Katya, but uh, this evening he has another Von Essen in mind for visiting. Yeah, Arjun will alone. Probably getting out of Katya's room and walk your head to. Does he know where, well, he'll head to Conrad's room, I guess. Yeah, he knows where Conrad's room's at. Yeah. He'll knock on the door. Conrad uh, opens the door kind of slowly. Ah, Arjun. Can I come in? Uh, let's go out to the living room. If you wish. And he'll kind of shrug. Uh, make me a, uh, perception alertness check. Okay. Where are the rules? Oh, it would be vampire rules. <laughs> hey, buddy. <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, ooh, wow, three successes. Uh, Conrad's room is a wreck. There are several pieces of broken furniture throughout the room, including uh, the mirror that uh, faced the bed. Yeah, he gets an idea where he broke stuff. The mirror especially. It, it's not hard to put together why. Yeah. The room is in such a state. He uh, closes the door behind him as uh, they come out. And they head to the living room. He'll watch that. <laughs> it's just the two of them. Yeah, it is just the two of them. It seems like most of the others are out celebrating still. Katya's here, but she's not, uh, not come out of the room yet. Yes, Arjun made sure she was tied. <laughs> um, but he'll, um, look at Conrad, he'll look at Conrad, like, straight in the eyes. Are you okay? I guess I'm making a roll for this one, because he's going to lie his ass off. I don't already know he's not okay because he's in the room, but... <laughs> oh god, this is a really not a great dice pool for him. Perception and empathy. Oh, I don't have empathy. Well, I don't have, well, I don't have empathy, but you know. Not that he, you know, I didn't already know he's because yeah. fuck that room. <laughs> I can roll, but I mean, Arjun already knows because he's seen the room. Yeah, that that's gonna lower the difficulty to four. It's not easy to. It, it's pretty easy to see he's lying. Yeah, two. You don't need to. Yeah, if you look at him, you don't need to lie to me, Conrad. We know that. It's just the two of us here. 
Everybody's out. Well, Gretchen's in her room. I want to say that he wasn't my brother, but... Yeah, but he was. I'm sorry about saying it, and I might get punched. <laughs> or maybe hugged. Or maybe both. <laughs> but in the end, he still was your brother. <laughs> Keep thinking back to try and figure out just where things went wrong. How it all went so fucking wrong. You've told me he was always, well, somewhat power hungry. If that's true, it probably went wrong with it. When he was embraced, he was given power that mortals can't even imagine. Of your clan, nevertheless. Not yeah. only do you have powers of vampires, but you do magic. And he gave it, and that happened to him, someone that was already poor hungry. You know what, I may, I may not remember anything that, that happened to me before I changed, but sometimes, times like tonight, I think that may be a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Watching my brother go from the man that I knew, the one that would have given anything to protect me or Castiel to that thing. I can't hug him. He... He stiffens a bit at first. Like he's not really sure how to react. Before he kind of relaxes into it. This. Right. Sorry, go ahead. I keep playing back everything that happened that night. Well, I know it's not much just saying it. I know you're already trying, but you shouldn't think about it. That would be impossible. I can imagine. Don't just... He'll think. Don't... 
sure that might hurt, but if you can manage to it to do it. Think back or try to forget. Well no, don't try to forget. Just try to remember who he really was before he changed. And I'm sure that between what happened and what what the, what he became would have wanted to become what would have wanted to happen I'm pretty sure the old him was happier with this outcome yeah I just wish Katya had uh, gotten to know that Marcus, not the one that did all of those things to her. She can tell her. I mean, right now. I'm not sure it's a good, good thing to mind of to tell her right now, she's... And he'll look down himself. She's not who you, she used to be. Oh, trust me, oh. I know. But if she goes back to that... You... You don't know the things that they forced her to do. He'll just nod. <clears throat> if she goes back to how she was, and you tell her of how Marcus used to be, well, she may not remember him, but next day, next day, best thing? And I'm here for that. <laughs> Frankly, with all this bullshit that's happening here, the spot, the red list, uh, the werewolves, it's why I haven't left. I'm not going anywhere. Not until, not un until I get the old catch. I certainly oh. hope you can. <laughs> well. I often say this seems to be my way of going, but also why I haven't joined the Camarilla, but I do what I want to do, and I'll die trying. <laughs> you know they'll try and force you to join now. Yeah. Alistair. Yeah, they can shove that title up where the sun <laughs> doesn't shine. <laughs> I mean... We never see the sun anyway. Oh, the better reason for them to shove them up there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But, uh, but yeah, I guess a bit. No, I'm not driving the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us didn't have a choice. <sighs> yeah. Sorry about that. Well, not that it's my fault, but still. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh... Sun's coming up in about an hour. You got a 20 minute drive. Unless you're staying the night. I'll kind of look upstairs where the rooms are. Mm -hmm. I could. I mean, I'm sure the main reason of the company. I'm not. Yeah, that, and I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone is still celebrating and will probably pass out wherever they are. So, probably. And if there's too many people when I wake up, well, yeah, you can come see me. Conrad and Alyssa. Are upstairs, Katya's upstairs. 
I think that's it. Yeah, three important ones. Yes, uh, ma'am. They're all important. They're not family, but they're all important. I shall not. But yeah, I think I'll... I'll go upstairs, join Katya. She'll probably be falling asleep soon. Might want to get up there before she does. Yeah. And to... Well... Don't forget that... I'm here. He if there's something, if there's ever something you feel you can't tell Katya or Conrad. You mean Castiel? Or, oh, sorry, and, or Castiel. Well, I'm here for you. Castiel has been more of a brother to me than Marcus has for a very long time. It's what made it so hard seeing him under Marcus's sway that in Topor. I can't, I can't imagine what that was like. wasn't for being trained in well the ways of illusions I wouldn't have learned to master my emotions like I do and then well I probably would have gone like an idiot and tried to save Katya and well and Kaskia and I would have died <laughs> so I can't but that was just from well I don't know Cast you like you do, and I was already ang uh, already angry at seeing not only Kasha but him too under under the sway. I can <laughs> I can't imagine what you're going through, but I can be here to listen. That's all right. Mm -hmm. I. I'm happy for Castile. Castile and I are going to be talking to Darian. We want Alyssa's bond to the clan broken. And her probationary status removed. I... <laughs> I want that for... For the four of you. You, Castiel, her. Gotcha. Her, her bond is different than ours. I'm and guessing because she's used, well, she was embraced into the anti tribute. Well, I was going to call them the crazy fuckers, but yeah, that works too. Because of that, She's bound to the clan in a way that prevents other blood bonds from being formed. She still be she'll be bonded to the inner council still. Yeah, we all are. No one gets away from that. But I'd use 
what Shit. your plan owes me to get rid of that, but then they'd go after you even worse. It would put you in the worse in the even worse situation. And they'll exactly. come after you too. That wouldn't be any good for anyone. But that way, if we have them break her bond to the clan, she will, at the very least, be able to form the blood bond that she and Castiel want. Tell smile. I'll be happy for her and Castiel. He's already bound himself to her. Yeah, but it's better to have it both ways. Indeed, and she wants that. But she can't. At least yet, anyway. I should go up. Yeah, go. And he'll smile. And give him one last <laughs> quick hug before, you know, heading upstairs. He just smiles a bit. See you in the morning. Or tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And yeah, and he'll go up and, uh, well, he'll pat him on the back, and then go up and sleep into bed with uh, with Carter. She's already almost asleep when he gets up there. Yeah, he'll sleep, sleep in, like, into the mattress and into bed. Hello. Well. Good night, I guess. Well. Hmm. I've never been sure what to say. Good day. <laughs> I always say good night. And he kind of kisses her cheek. And goes, good night. And then he kisses her lips. She just kind of cuddles up to him. And then drifts off to sleep. And he'll... Well, he watches her sleep for a few minutes and then closes his own eyes as he he closes his own eyes and caressing her face you know, he just says, he whispers I'll get you back the true culture I promise and with that Thank you, players, for playing. Thank you, watchers, for watching. This has been another scene for Unmask Orlando. See you next time.